Hi guys, I am back with a Timu haul this time. I actually have another Dollar Tree haul as well, but we're gonna hold off and do that a little bit later. Um, my Timu haul is actually a couple orders in one. Um, pardon my mess, you guys know that this is actually my office area and all of this is, is kind of some Easter stuff that's just shoved over there and kind of hidden. So that's where all of these bags are. Um, and then over here, I've got my Timu stuff. So there's a lot going on. So please ignore the mess, but I'm just gonna go ahead and hop in. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad you guys are here. If you are new to my hauls, my name is Jenny. Um, I am long-winded. I do use my crutch word, um, a lot. Um, I've got four dogs, three boys, a house full of chaos, <laughs> but, um, happy chaos, I guess. Um, so. I do tend to be all over the place a little bit. Um, just imagine you're hanging out with your um, good friend who happens to be a Gemini, so her personalities are all over the place, and she has ADHD, so triple quadruple whammy. <laughs> but anyways, I am so glad you guys joined me. I typically do Dollar Tree hauls. I actually love to do any sort of, I, I love frugal shopping, so I am a thrift store fanatic. I am a yard seller. I am a um, Dollar Tree person and I love finding deals online. So that's kind of me in a nutshell. Um, I don't like to spend a lot on things, but I also spend a lot on non-expensive things <laughs> because I feel like I'm getting a deal. Um, that's just me. <laughs> so anyways, I am so glad you guys are here. If you are here returning Thank you so much for coming back after all of the other probably chaotic videos you've seen. Um, if you are new, welcome, grab a drink and buckle up. Um, otherwise we are going to dive into, this is going to be a Timu haul. So like I said, a couple, um, a couple Timu orders. This, I have an order that I had done previously and I started already using some of the things. So one thing I got is, um, this tends to be kind of on trend right now, I think. Um, I'm 40, I don't know what's on trend, but... I love this and I see it on other people who are, I follow people who do like midsize and plus size um, outfits because I am a little fuller figured. So I like to um, find out cute ways to dress my body. Um, and I've fallen in love with these. I was a girl in junior high and high school that wore a lot of jewelry when a lot of jewelry wasn't necessarily a thing. Um, so I did used to stack my necklaces. I had several different necklaces. Um, it's funny cause I was kind of a little more of like an alternative type girl, but I had lots of jewelry and I, I did have my earrings pierced all the way up, you know, all that stuff. So, so this is back and I am here for it. I love it. So anyways, I got this very inexpensive. It doesn't have the monogram on here. It's just, um, blank. Um, but it has the double chains. It's light. Obviously it's not real. Um, this is from Team U. I think it was maybe like maybe like two bucks. Um, so I grabbed it, threw it in there, figured I'd try it out and I love it. I wore it today with my Dolly Parton cause she is the queen, um, with her, with her shirt and some little comfy, um, joggers and it was perfect. So that is one thing that to me was a win. Um, I love these. I love the hair ties, but I love how these are decorative. So you can stack them on your, um, on your arm as like a bracelet. Um, but then also have a hair tie with you whenever you need it. Um, this was in colors, gray, tan, blue, cream, and like sage. Um, and these are all things I purchased. These are not anything that, um, I didn't, you know, I, I paid for these. So, um, I would love it if I were sponsored, but I don't have a big enough following to even have that kind of interest yet, but maybe one day. <laughs> um, I do have a lot of Timu things and if you guys want me to, they do have a lot of, like I buy, I buy a lot of Timu clothes and, um, if you want me to, I actually can do a, a sh like an outfit. Maybe I'll do a short with just the outfits, um, and share them on here and let you guys know what I think. I think I've been, I've liked most of the things, almost everything that I've gotten. I do read reviews. I do take my measurements. I don't go off of just regular sizes. So my measurements, like my sizes will be all the way from like a medium to like a three XL. Like they're all over the place. Cause I just do the measurements. Um, cause it depends on who the seller is. It's kind of like Amazon where there's different sellers. I was very impressed with this bag. So it's big, huge. And when you see it on um, the um, picture, it's gonna have it clip like this. So it clips to kind of compact it and close it. Um, the inside of it is really good size. And then it has, um, it comes with this little extra bag. 
So you can use this for whatever purposes you have, makeup or just like a little um, like wristlet kind of type purse. But I loved it. It was a really good price. It is good quality. Um, it is just like a faux leather, but it's super nice. I really like it. I love the color and it is big, so it'll hold a lot of things. So I can use it as even like a weekender bag. My purse fits in it, but sometimes I use it as a purse. So that was another thing that I loved. So I'm batting kind of 0 for 2 on these. So these were supposed to be something for my son's Easter outfit. They are super cute. They are this like tan color. And these came in the wrong size. I mean, they, they're the right size, but um, or, I mean, they're, they're, I ordered them too big. I wasn't quite sure what to order them in because they're in the, um, like the international type, like the other, the sizes from other countries. I think it's like Chinese sizing. Um, so they're 29 and I am really bad at doing the conversion. So I just went off the conversions on the thing, which on the listing, which I always tell people not to do, do measurements, blah, blah, blah. And here I am not following my own advice. These were really big compared to his shoes. Um, so then I reordered a different size that just came yesterday. And these are super cute. I ordered them in a different color. So they're gray, but I think they're a little too big too, but look how cute. They actually have like the full leather back here. The other ones didn't have that. So I don't know, we'll see how these work. Um, they're really cute and either way he'll grow into both of them, but I really was hoping that he could have them for his Easter outfit. So I don't know, we'll see. But I decided to keep them instead of returning them because he will grow into them and they are really cute. And the prices, they were really good. Um, then I got this for, so as I told you guys, I have a four, 14 and 21 year old. Um, so for my four and my four, no 15 now for my four and my 15 year old um this these are some of their easter things so i got these shorts for my teen and i am so impressed with the quality like they are like this really silky soft um they do have like a lining which is also very soft it's not like that meshing um i know that my son has told me before when he's had the ones with the meshing it kind of hurts when it rubs in certain areas um and this is just soft like like soft like not even silky like it's kind of that material that will dry really quickly i don't even know let me <laughs> let me see um the lining is polyester and spandex okay and then the material on the outside is poly polyamide and spandex so um but it's got like a little pocket inside here they've got pockets here so these could be and then they've got the little pocket in the back with the hole for the water or sand so these could obviously are could be trunks or I think are meant to be trunks, but they're also something that could just be worn out that would dry really quickly. So if you're like going to the beach to hang out, um, going to the lake to hang out, but you also wanted to wear them as like normal, you know, just like shorts, that's probably maybe not a style that everybody would wear. Um, but either way, they're, they're awesome. I like them. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised by those. These are adorable these are little little guy underwear um and these did come in a bigger size than what my i had meant to order for my little guy because he's tiny but he will grow into these but look how freaking cute these are they're like little trunk style so these ones are have little tractors these ones are just um have the lining with the tractor on the bum these ones say honk and then these ones say beep beep and have all the little little things on them so so cute so i loved them so much i actually did order the right size because that was supposed to be part of his sister as well so he'll grow into the bigger ones but let me see the other one should be in here so let's see what we have oh so this is the, one of the shirts i got for my kids for my boys for their oh this is not what i thought it was huh Okay, so you, you guys are seeing this for the first time with me. So th this stuff now. Um, so this is a shirt that I got. It says, stay humble, hustle hard. And I actually got this as a shirt for my son, but it's like a, it's really like thick. It's a t-shirt, but it's got like that like waffle texture inside it. Like it's like a lined shirt, I guess. Um, which I mean, it's probably nice for as it's colder right now, but I had intended on it being like more of a summer shirt. Kind of like a silky look to almost like a basketball material on the outside with like the lining on the inside. So anyways, we'll see if he likes it. It's a lot thicker than I had thought, which is nice because a lot of things are actually thinner than you intend for them to be. 
Um, another thing that I got, I do like to look at the rings. Um, I got a really pretty moissanite ring that they had had. Um, this one is, this one was just really pretty and I wanted it to add to my cart. Oh, and it's, yeah, it's perfect. It has that like smoky, almost, it has a purple tint to it, but it's like a smoky amethyst. And then it's got, um, just little stones around and that's pretty and it's just really simple. So sometimes it's nice to have like the little faux rings, especially, I mean, really not even especially like sometimes if you don't have the, the means to buy like a wedding ring or like a band um why not you know wear something like that just because it's beautiful and I get a lot of compliments on my rings that are like faux rings um and I'll wear um rings that aren't my real ring especially when we go places like if we go to the beach or camping or you know out of town and I don't want to lose my ring that that's more expensive, which mine is actually broken right now. Anyways, I got to get it soldered. But, um, but even when before it's nice to be able to have a ring that, um, if I do lose it, you know, I can reorder it and it's not a big deal. Cause I think that ring was like three bucks. So it may turn your finger green typically for that. It's that's typically hormonal. Like, I don't know if you know that, but um, usually it's a response from your skin to the, to the metal. That's why not everybody's fingers turn green with fake metals. Um, if you do a, like just clear nail polish or something that will usually help. But even still, sometimes depending on the acidity of your skin and your, your pH balance, it can still affect that. And also it can change it according to what time of the month it is. So a little, bit, a little tidbit. Um, another thing I got, which I am so excited about. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, my light turned off. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. If you can see, that has like a little leopard texture to it, but it's a watch band for my um, Apple Watch. And this was such a good price. And it's just the silicone because my other silicone one that was the one that came with it um, broke. So even, you know, even the Apple brand, sometimes they'll break. So um, figure I'll spend three bucks instead of spending the expensive price. It doesn't take such amount anyways. And then I did get my little guy some faux Crocs. Um, these again are going to be too big because <laughs> I don't know what size he wears, but he loves his brothers. His brother um, plays football and he wears them to um, the gym so that, or when they're playing so he can switch out quickly into his, um, his cleats and stuff. Um, and he just thinks that they're just the coolest things ever. I'm not a big fan of Crocs. I think they're really cute on little kids and um, they look cute on my kids. <laughs> but I myself am not a huge fan of them. So, all right. Okay, you guys, I am so excited about this and it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. So I am a plant lover and one day maybe I'll do a video of my plants. Like I've got ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of plants, but they're good for your air. They're good for your soul. They're good for your everything. So because of my love for plants, I wanted to put one in my car, um, but I don't know that it would survive. So they had these and look how freaking cute this is. This is adorable. I thought it was going to be too like really, or I thought it was going to be smaller. Like that is adorable. That is so cute. Like I, I am, I'm seeing this for the first time and I'm like tearing up. I love this. You guys, I love this. So yeah, this is adorable. Um, you need to get one of these. Everybody needs this in their car because that will just make you happy. <laughs> so there's that. Um, as you can tell, I love it. <laughs> okay, next thing. Okay, I got a couple other shirts that I'm hoping, I'm hoping these are gonna be good shirts because this is supposed to be part of the, the Easter stuff. So this is for my older son. Um, I believe this will fit him. This is really nice. This is also a different kind of material, but it's like a, like almost a wicking type material. But that is a really nice shirt. I love that. Okay, I like that. I hope he does too. Yeah, that's a nice shirt. Okay, so hopefully he'll like that. My oldest. And then this is for my middle um, to go with his shorts. Because I think the Hustle one may not be. And this is just a soft t-shirt. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, because I don't think he'll wear the thicker material. Um, and this one just has the little hang loose um, skeleton hand. That's actually a really nice shirt. That's like a really soft, like that soft jersey print. So awesome. Okay, so those are the shirts I got. I kind of couldn't remember everything I got. So, <laughs> so you guys are experiencing this with me. Um, oh, 
This is cute. This one says, my mom always wonders why, where I get my attitude from. You, homegirl, I get it from you. <laughs> my little guy gives me a run for my money. And he, it's crazy because my teenager and I like kind of go, go to bat from time to time frequently because um, we're very much alike. Um, and so I think that kind of sometimes... I don't know. My husband's always like, why do you get, why does he get such a rise out of you? And I, I that's gotta be why I can't figure out why else. Um, but this little guy, Ooh, you guys don't I don't even, I don't know how I'm going to survive, but I will. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I got him a smaller pair of the cute little underwear, but these are different ones, but they're four packs and they're so cute. And oh, these, these should fit him. So these ones are just little white with the band. These are so cute. They're like little trunks. Um, oh, and they have a dinosaur on the bum. And then these ones are like a mint color with dinosaurs on the bum. And then these ones have like the dinosaur print. And then these ones have the dinosaur print. Those are really cute. These are so cute. Like their little um, boxer brief type underwear are so dang cute. And they're pretty good price. Like I feel like they're a lot less expensive than some of the prices that I typically see um, for underwear and stuff. So, okay, let me see. This is a little outfit that I got for him. Just a little short outfit. Nashville Cut Music Center, Tennessee. I love this. He, he doesn't really care one way or another, obviously. And then just some little shorts. Um, I just figured it's a cute little outfit for him to wear in the summer and it's light. Oh, go on. My dog's moving the moving the camera. We're gonna do this. Okay, my light keeps turning off. I think my battery's going dead. All right, and then I got, oh, this belt is adorable. So I saw one of these and I was gonna order it from a lady who actually makes her own belt, um, but she was sold out and they did not have any orders coming in and I loved the style of it. So I searched to see if they had something similar and sure enough, lo and behold, they did. Um, because I have a lot of dresses and I like to do like the empire waist. So look how cute that is. It has the multiple belts and then it just snaps in the back and it's elastic. So it should fit pretty good. I'm really excited to give this a try. So there is that. And then I got myself a password book because my new job makes me change my passwords every 30 days and I'm running out of passwords and I keep forgetting them. So then I'm replacing or resetting them like every like four days. So I need a password book. <laughs> so I have it. And it's actually really look nice looking quality. Um, so yeah, that should help me. And I'll just carry it in my purse. And then I got this really cute budget planner. Um, I have a big budget planner that I do. But I like something small to carry too in my purse so that if I'm like at work or something and I'm on my lunch break and I need to like check on our expenses, I've got this and it's got all these sections. Like it has, it really drills down into it, which I really like. Like it has a whole bunch of different diagrams, graphs, so you could really, really thoroughly um, explore your finances and see what's going on with them. Um, I have been a little, um, I used to be really good at like doing like budget checkups like every week. And I've kind of been waiting a little bit in between and I don't like doing that. It makes me a little uncomfortable. Um, mostly because I've gotten myself in bad situations um, with credit cards and things like that in you know years past. And so that's something I want to always be really mindful of. Um, just see, you know, and like maybe put something towards savings when we can or like like do the rich man, poor man method, that kind of stuff. So that's, that's my goal with that. Um, I got one of these just because I think it's so cute. And I actually have this in my own size, like in my adult size of these different colors, but of this type of a set. So I don't know if you guys can see this. It's very soft and then it is kind of thin. So it's gonna be kind of see-through, but this is for my little guy. And then it had these cute little shorts and it's so cute. Mine doesn't have the little patch right here though. It just says classic wear best style 1979, but how cute is that? And that's a cute little, just like summer outfit too. So. I was excited to have that for him. His birthday's coming up too. So some of these things, cause I kind of like went a little overboard on different little things that I snagged for like Easter and stuff too. Um, so probably what I'll do is I will um, 
if I don't use it, it's not a big deal because I'll be able to use it for his um, birthday as well because it's just around the corner. But they're just things that I thought would be great for him, you know, for whatever reason. So some of these things that I got, and now I'm remembering, um, I have my dog who likes to go in my car. I have a hatchback. Um, but she destroys everything with her little nails and with her fur. So I decided to get some of the, like, those quilts that lay down in your hatch area. Um, as well as, like, the little dog gate um, that blocks it off. And so I already got the little dog gate, you know what? And I didn't bring that to show you guys, but... Um, when I put it in, maybe I'll do a video showing you guys. And then I can show you my cute little Sasha girl that likes to come for the walks with me. Um, but I got this to put in there. And it seems really good quality and it seems pretty thick. But so this is going to go in there and it's just that little quilted like vinyl. And it will clip in. It goes over the back of my seats. Um, it closes off the side of my seat as well. Um, so that she can't damage the back of my car when she's in there and it will help keep down like any hair. My middle son does have, um, pet hair allergies. Um, with her, he's actually not allergic to her dander. He's only allergic where he touches her. He gets like the rashes from her hair because it's prickly. Um, but furry dogs, and, like furry cats, he, he gets respiratory, um, stress too. So we've got Yorkies, which are tend to be hypoallergenic because they have hair, not fur. Um, he doesn't have an issue with them. He just has an issue with the others. And then I got this cargo net because I often fill my car mostly with um, Dollar Tree bags. And when I open it, it falls out. So this will help me help that not happen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This isn't that. I didn't get that yet. Okay. Just kidding. This goes on the top of my ceiling. <laughs> My car is just becoming like a hoarder car. <laughs> this goes on the top of my ceiling and it clips to the oh bars, the grab bars. Um, I can say shit, right? Oh shit bars. Okay, anyways. Um, and then you can tuck stuff in there. So you can tuck like extra blanket up there or your coat if it's changing weather a lot and it keeps it against the roof so it's not like down. So that's what that is. So this is kind of like a car haul. <laughs> And then I got two of these and I'm very excited about these. Um, so they're faux leather and I've had like things that go on the back of my seat before. These are the ones that go on the back of your seat, right? But then they also have, okay, so it was like this, but then they also have, hey mister, go watch your movie please. They also have this tray that comes down. How cool is that? And so if you have like a laptop, you can put it on there or if you have like a snack or like just anything and then you can also put it up here and then it's got a little um a little um slot for your um tablets to go inside too um so i don't know i just thought it was good we like to go we like to travel a lot um but we typically do road trips we love road trips so they will come in handy so i got two of them um i had a really good deal i had a really good um coupon pack package and i will see if i have another referral code because i did have a referral code um, and if I do, I'll put it up there because my referral code came with up to $200 in coupons, yeah. um, off of a purchase of X amount. And I had actually had, honey, go on, please. I had actually had, um, $90 credit plus, um, a coupon. Hey, please stop. Um, plus a coupon. Um, and so I got a really, really good deal on all of this. So I was really excited about that. But, oh, and then the last thing or two, two last things that I got from this haul Sorry, he wasn't supposed to be sneaking in here. He told me he would stay out because we had some stuff I didn't want him in here to see. But I got these. They are rubbery. I wasn't sure if they were going to have like a leather look or feel to them. I kind of thought they were, but that's okay. They're super cute. They look like those like Birkenstocks. Um, I have some Birkenstocks, but um, they look like the ones that have the toe. So here's what they look like on. <laughs> I actually got the size right. And they actually look like they'd be yeah. pretty comfortable. I think they'd be really good for like the beach mm -hmm. and the sand. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I am actually happy with those. All right, last thing. Uh, yeah. You need to go in the living room, okay? Okay. I know, I need you to shut the door. I love you. Bye. <coughs> See, there tends to be chaos. 
because he lets the dogs in and all that crazy. So I have always wanted one of these. I gotta put it together, but I got one of the bamboo, here, the bamboo um, plastic <laughs> foil baggy holder. So I am really excited to put this inside my cupboard. Um, it has the little, I actually could hang it on the wall and it's, it, it is, you guys, this is really nice, like really nice quality, like thick. Um, it says quart, sandwich, snack, plastic, foil, and gallon. Um, and then it's got these little um, things here. It does have the hardware to cut your, um, your plastics and your foil. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, I'm actually really impressed. So I had seen these um, in different shops and different places for pretty expensive prices like $40 and up um so I'm actually very impressed with this I don't remember how much this was I might have to link that down below but I do remember it was a lot better of a price than I had seen before um but yeah six let's see six and one ziplock bag storage so yeah that's really cool all right well you know what I think I'm gonna put this away later <laughs> so I'm going to close out of this video and I'm going to thank you guys so much for joining. Um, what was your favorite thing? I know this is going to be so silly and it probably isn't my favorite thing, but as of right now, like this is my favorite thing because my little heart is so happy about this. <laughs> so um, let me know if you guys are team new shoppers and let me know if there's anything that you have absolutely loved or that you found that is amazing. Um, and hopefully I will catch you guys on my next video. I feel like there will be one posted very soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys like my videos, please continue watching. Um, please subscribe and like. I would love it if you comment below. I will definitely re reply to any comments I receive. Um, and then you guys are also welcome to follow me on TikTok. Um, I have everything on TikTok. TikTok is like just a mod podge of things. But you're more than welcome to follow me on there. It's um, it's Jenny with an I. Um, I'm also on Instagram. My TikTok, I do share some um, like discount videos, thrifting videos, um, and I do share some um, Dollar Tree videos. And then I do share like cooking videos and stuff too, like like quick little cooking shares. So, so you're more than welcome to join me. I would love for you guys to join me there. But um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will catch you on the next video. Bye.